Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while. We finally moved. It's still a mess everywhere. I have to build so many furniture and unpack boxes and I'm searching for things all day and as you know I have my own web shop and most of it it's sorted but some small boxes still are missing and I'm searching all day long and I need hours to get my things packed and shipped and it's so stressful and I'm so tired but I wanted to give you an update before I have it all piled up and forget what I was saying last time and so this is gonna be a no cutting video. I will try to insert pictures of the things, how they look when they're done, but aside from that um, this might be a little bit rambly today and um, yeah, I'm sorry for that, but I really don't have much time on my hands right now, but I try to give you a little update and even though we've been moving, I managed to stitch a lot, which is insane. <laughs> so this is my little notebook where I keep track of the calendar weeks where I where I've been, what I've been doing. As you know, I'm rotating weekly and um, so this is the week of the year and um, I note what I stitch on in that week and um, so I think the last time I showed you I was around week 36 or 37 yeah that's when I started the mirror so it's been week 36 when I um, last talked to you. So now it's the 22nd of October, it's week 43 and um, yeah I will show you my updates now. Um, okay so let's start with my Etsy project. So now I hope the sun is coming out and going away again and um, lightning the light will be strange but I hope it works out. Um, now the last time you saw it um, I was like um, here so I only had this part stitched and a little bit of her hair and her skin and I had this one finished up to here so this is a page the pattern consists of six pages and this pattern is my bunny from Lola Lotta on Etsy and my, if you remember, I stitched her cute ghost last year as one of my first, oh it was the first um, project I did on a 25 count. So this is on 25 count too and I stitched with two threads because it has mixed threads so to stitch on a small count you have to do two threads half cross ten stitch. So the sky is only um, one strand and so in two weeks I did the whole sky and I did the bunny and her cute hands and um, I also started on the sky up here. So I guess I will need around three full stitching weeks until it's finished. I hope to get um, this done in two weeks, maybe less because it's only trees and they don't have much color change as she does. And um, then I need a whole week at last, at least, to get the back stitching done because all the trees are back stitched. All the sky has uh, waves, orange waves. It's so beautiful when it's done. And I need to. Uh, the only thing I already back stitched is her face because I wanted to see how it, it will turn out. She looked a little funny when I didn't do that. And then, um, so I changed her hair color. If you're interested, I can send you the DMC numbers. She's originally blonde. And um, I got this copper metallic thread and I want to stitch her hair 
and the back stitch in her hair with that so she has um, something more blingy in her hair yeah so that's the plan i want to gift this as a christmas gift i will easily finish until then just have to keep going at it and yeah i have currently eight whips so i'm happy when this is done and i'm down to seven but I have another gift planned and it's a small Etsy gift again. Uh, but yeah, I will go back up to eight. As much as I struggle, I can't get down to seven or six again. Six whips would be my goal, I think. Okay, so next thing is my heaven and earth. And um, I finally got past the blue sky. Uh, I tried to insert a picture so you can see how it will look like. It's a story key perfect wisdom. It's stitched with one strand over one full cross on 25 count Lugana. And um, I've been really sick of <laughs> all the blue. It's like two dark blue colors and here was a bit brown. And um, I never had much fun stitching on it. It was more like a chore. Let's get down the light a bit again. Okay, so this is more... Not that much, please. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I try not to edit today, so sorry for stuff like this. Usually I would edit that out. Um, I wanted to stitch on this because uh, of the Pattern Keeper app. This project is the only Heaven and Earth and the only f from my projects that is compatible with the Pattern Keeper and it's so much fun and it's so fast to stitch with it. Um, as you can see my stitching is a bit fluffy. I don't know why. I used all kinds of gold and high quality needles and it's still fluffy. I don't know. I Maybe it's dust, but I try to put it away as much as I can. But um, yeah, I don't know what to do about it. When it's dark, you don't really see it. But when the light comes down like this, it looks horrible. But I... I mean... Here it's better. This is, was my start. So that was probably um, a cheap needle that did this, but I won't rip that out. Really, I won't. Um, this looks much better, but it's still... I don't know. Maybe in, in crazy sunlight every project looks like that. I'm not sure. I try to do um, like a sticky roll. I don't know what it's called for clothing to put over it to collect the dust but it just helps a little after I wash it it looks better I already washed it once to see if that helps so um, as you can see um, last time I hadn't stitched all that I just had the top 20 rows done so I stitched all that then I filled up this part and I fill up a little bit over here and then I was really tired of it and I wanted some action so this is a little waste not left and um, so I counted down in the pattern and stitched two rows of the blue here and this is the start of a 10 by 10 block and I used that to get to the moon and as you can see, I'm finally there and I love it. It always looks like it glows in the dark because it's such a nice contrast to the dark blue. I love it so much. It's um, It has a minty pale green in it. It's so pretty. So here's, here will be the moon and here is the head of the owl. So there's the first feather and yeah. So what I'm doing right now is I'm working in rows because this is such a narrow pattern. Um, this is the end. It goes from here to here. It's 150 stitches. And what I want to do now is um, work in rows. So I'm 
looking for the I'm looking for the missing color so if the next one is here that down here is the end of the 10 by 10 row and um, so I'm looking for the, the, an empty stitch oh I have to pause Okay, where was I? <laughs> Somebody called and now my battery is running low. Yay, I have to cut two today. <laughs> I'm still cut today. Okay. Um, so, I think what I was telling you is that I pick one color and work on the row. So I don't usually people work in columns and I usually do two. But now I look for a color that is the most right in the 10 by 10 row. And then I stitch it wherever I find it. And um, I travel 10 blocks at the max. And if there's nothing on the left where the color um, is, uh, I park it below. And if below, the color is not below, two then I will stop the thread and sew it on the back and I do a pin stitch start um, yeah that's it to this project I finally I'm finally very excited to stitch this and um, because I was really tired of all this blue and now I can't, I don't want to stop. So I'm working on this for the rest of the week. Okay, so next is my Mirabilia. I started it just after I showed it to you in my last video. This is the Cathedral Woods Goddess. And I stitch it on a 32 count. Oh, finally you see the color. So this is how it looks. And this is a chromatic alchemy fabric in 32 count Rano. And this is how far I've come. So I started in the middle. Usually I always start in the top left corner, but here it's too difficult for me to count. I don't want to grid the whole thing and I'm scared of mistakes because as you can see, I don't have much space to the border, but I really didn't want to buy a much larger piece just because, I mean, I think it's just about two inches maybe, I don't know, but that should be enough just but I can't uh, make any mistakes in the placement so I started in the middle and um, I also do beading as I go along so but I made a mistake so I thought I beat them straight upwards and um, they're really tight really tight and I think it's because the dyed fabrics also shrink a little so um, I will rip these out and um, place them sideways so they match the top leg of my stitch and I didn't do much so it's not a problem um, so these are very pretty copper beads and um, I beat as I go because this is not too big and I have a fairly big Q-snap and the rest I will just stitch in hand but I really don't like going over a piece and look for any left space that I missed and do single stitches and I feel like if you're at the end of the project and you have to search for missed stuff it just feels like the project never ends and I really don't like that so that's why I'm parking too and um, yeah so um, below, oh, down below here these are petite treasure braids I swapped them from the Kranich because I think they glitter much more and they're lovely to stitch with but it's really hard to show on camera how glittery they really are. 
Yeah. And um, yeah, this is where I am. It's her dress. And these are the leaves that I did. And this is her necklace. And I love it. But I have too many projects, so yeah. I'm at eight and I still feel like I have too many projects. <laughs> I already feel like I have too many projects and this is how I store my stuff. So I have a large plastic bag. I leave it open so the air can circulate and I have the pattern, uh, the working copy and uh, all the flosses. Next one is something you haven't seen for quite a while. This is my Zelda piece. I started this in 2015 before all before I knew about floss tube and all that crazy stuff, so I only stitched on this and um I got quite a lot done. This is on 14 count. The pattern is called Zelda stained glass. Oh, again in the wrong direction now. And um, it was a free pattern I found on Etsy, but I just searched for it. I'm not sure if it's still on there. And yeah, so this is what I've stitched in 2015, 2016. Then in 2017, I think I made a long break. And in the fall of last year, 2018, um, I s found Floss Tube and I started the Owl Hate my first one and the Etsy patterns and then from there on you know the history. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is what I did um, back then and I worked just a little bit of on it. This was on the week where we were moving and um, I could just take the black with me and um, work on the outlines. This um, part is the Hyrule Castle and I filled this part in, so I stitched until here. I filled this in and the white and I did the outlines on the castle and um, it was really fun and it's really nice because the stitches are so big on 14 count. Um, for a while I just wanted to try out all the specialty stuff and now I really like the relaxed stitching on 14 again, but it's so big. Now this is what I did back then too. I haven't showed you for a while and I did some at the top too. Yeah, but I don't think I will work on this um, this year because I want to finish the bunny, I want to finish the hate, I want to not finish but I work on the hate, I want to finish the gamer um, goal and um, yeah. So my gamer, oh I'm so proud of it, this. I stitched on it two weeks ago and I got another 3,100 3, stitches. Um, which is a lot for me to go over the 3,000 mark in a week. But um, I seem to get used to it somehow. <laughs> now, the last time I showed you, I think I was up until here. Now, um, I don't want to... I'm scared of ironing the fabric, so please let me know if it's safe to iron it. Because I heard people say when you wash it too hot, you might set the color of the grid lines. And I'm scared when my iron is too hot, it might set the color too, so I can't wash it out at the end. Maybe you have experience with that. So today it's all wrinkly for now. Um, this is how... So the last time I think I was at the leaf... Nah. The sun is coming and going as it wants today. Um, so I was up until here. I stitched all of this and the little flowers in here. And this is the bottom of the column. So I'm at the bottom. 
of the piece. I'm so happy about that. Um, but um, I stitched all of this and then I just couldn't see it anymore. I got so tired <laughs> of all the gray that I just left it for later. Sometimes when we watch a movie where you have to um, follow the storyline a lot, I will put out something like this and stitch on that instead of confetti. So this is the whole piece. Let me show you. So this is what I did since April of this year 2019 and then I filled in this row. This is now a 20 stitches wide column that I'm working on and this is a whole page so the Gecko Rouge pages are much smaller than the hate pages but I like that because the symbols are really nice to see on the pattern. Um, now you can see that I had a day with more tension than the start here and there but I th you can't see it when it's like this so you will never notice but I'm really happy that I feathered a little bit I've also feathered with one stitch up here and I do this only where there is a block of color so here's a star I didn't feather there but yeah on here and this is all very much confetti heavy, so I don't feather there. And you can't see a difference, I think. Now here is the line. You can see it a little bit when um, under the light, but I don't think you can see it like that. So this is all I stitched. The complete column here I did in two weeks and the bottom. And um, yeah, so I'm really proud of that progress. Um, I can't wait to do the next column to get the colorful backgrounds. Right now I will be working down here to fill all the pages. These are seven pages and I think uh, I can finish them. That's my goal. All the seven pages until the bottom, until the end of the year. And as I started in April, this is not a full year, so I think I can do three more pages until April. That makes 10 pages a year, and if I can do a little bit more, I can... As it has 40 pages and... It's like 42 page, full pages, or not even full. So I think it's less than 40 full pages, because there are some pages where it's just like two columns like 20 stitches wide so um, I think I can do this in under four years which is my goal and this reassures me that four years is a good time for a large piece and I'm happy with that I'm stitching every two week weeks on this and um, Four years is a time frame that I can get into my head and I can be okay with. So I know Gamer is around the size that I like. <laughs> so I try not to go big bigger than this. Okay, and haul. So maybe you saw this on my Instagram. Okay, so I ate lunch and waited for the camera to load back up and I totally forgot what I was saying, but as you can see, we were talking about my Gecko Rouge kit and I'm back at the club. I ordered it before my moving because um, if I knew we were moving, I wouldn't have bought it, but now it's that way. <laughs> Um, and I'm happy, of course. I'm really, really happy. Um, I'm back at the club and I ordered it in the first week that it's out. And Gecko Rouge has, in the first week, a big discount on new kits. Which you can add up with your Gold Club discount code. And I saved a lot of it on that kit. It's amazing. So... I just thought, okay, let's go back. It's so much money I can save now. Um, 
that I really want to go back and I love this so much. Now, um, you might have seen it, I posted it on Instagram already. It's the Herb Witch. Oh, you know, when it's Medusa Dollmaker, I can't resist or I barely can resist. Some pieces are, I mean, there are so many pretty pieces, but this just speaks to me so much. Again, she's a red haired lady and um, she has here, she has her herbs and flowers and poppy flowers. So you know what she's up to. <laughs> um, yeah, and her magic bottle down here. She's so pretty. And it's really crazy. She has 90 colors. I didn't open it up even. And I won't open it up until I start her. And this might take a while. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are some of her colors. And I talked to um, Kimberly, the owner of Gecko Rouge. And um, she agreed with me that she also thought that this would need much less colors as she... Um, I and her, we thought it would be like maybe 50 at the max, but she said the smoke took so many colors up alone that, yeah, she had to do 90 colors. I love it. You know, I like confetti, so I'm fine. You can also can see that the background, maybe you can't because the light is crap today. Um... Even the background isn't solid, so it's a mix of, I guess, three colors only up here. So yeah, I love confetti, so it's good for me. <laughs> I think it's just the perfect amount of confetti in this piece. And what's also really great, she is half, almost half the size to compare to Gamer. So I will probably finish her within two years which I love. So this is also a selling point for me to have very pretty and um, detailed designs that are not huge, like a heaven and earth that is 999 stitches wide. I will right as of right now, I don't know what my future will be like, but as of now, I will never do a 999 piece, even 700 in one direction is I will maybe do one piece like that, but uh, It shouldn't be Something that I start on a regular basis so um, Yeah She's 283 by 382 which is like 300 by 400 which is the perfect size I love that so much so I had to buy her <laughs> I love her so much yeah I don't know when I will start her this is my second gecko rouge kit that I have that I haven't started yet and I really try to keep the numbers down so I skipped on some Lorna Lanes that I really love but I really try to not have a collection and just buy what I will stitch. Now what I'm also thinking about is maybe doing her in half cross stitch, in 10 stitch. Um, I'm still not sure about that because I don't like the 10 stitch on the, on the, the, the small bunny um, piece because for me it's really difficult to arrange quickly the two threads even with a laying tool. I think it takes my, uh, more time for me, but I'm not sure. I'm still not sure. I don't know if it takes more time for me to lay the two threads or to do a full cross with one strand. So I'm thinking about maybe doing her or my black and white piece from Gecko Rouge with a 10 stitch because um, in the small bunny pieces I have used CXC with DMC mixed 
And maybe those CXCs are the, I mean, the Chinese floss is giving me a hard time um, with the laying down. I don't know. I will have to see. But that would be the only reason to start a third full coverage design before I finish one, is to do uh, a tent stitch project. Yeah, we'll see. So, um, another thing, we have uh, surpassed 1000 subscribers on this channel, so Thank you guys so, so much. This is so crazy. I, w I always thought uh, this is a small side project. It will be like 200 people and then I'm super happy and I'm really grateful and I enjoyed it so much when I was moving and I didn't have time to stitch. I could talk to so many people on Instagram that connected with me on YouTube and we talked about our stitching and they showed me what they bought because of me and I've um, many people that started buying Gecko Rouge um, which is awesome <laughs> so thank you so much it means so much to me um, I really appreciate that you pick me of all the great floss tubers out there to spend your time with um, it's amazing I really want to do a giveaway but as you know I really don't have any stash, so all that I have are my Gecko Rouge kits and um, a few patterns that I bought recently, so I don't have any anything excess on hand that I could give to you, but um, I'm really thinking about when I'm financially recovered from the moving, which was so expensive because we had to buy a new kitchen. And I'm really hating the fact that um, flats for rent don't have kitchens anymore. Like almost all flats we looked at had no kitchen in it. Um, so we, yeah, we had to buy a new, completely new kitchen, which which sucks so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's life. And um, really, really had to get away from this loud home that was really going on our psyche so we were really our nerves were just we couldn't take it anymore we said we yeah we whatever it costs we will leave <laughs> so finally we, we did that and we will recover and it's finally much um, more silent on here and yeah so that's a short story of that so um, yeah you will hear from me soon that was a very quick update uh, I think I did half an hour I'm not sure because of all of the breaks so thank you so much for watching please leave a comment and a like and subscribe to my channel um, there will be much more updates soon and um, yeah have a nice week and happy stitching